Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at Warminster Station, just going over the footbridge. Come here today for the Imber Bus Rally, which I'm very excited about going to. We're going to ride the bus up to Imber. We're going to see this lost village. And what happens here at Warminster once a year is that all these London buses come down here and they take us into Salisbury Plain to this village called Imber that got abandoned in the war, which we shall see some of when we get there. So as we leave the railway station behind us, we step out here, you can see there is a London bus and there's lots of people. So I'm going to get on one of these buses and enjoy the ride across Salisbury Plain to Imber. And then when we get to Imber, we'll have a good look around, see the church, see the abandoned houses. So yes, go and get on the bus. Upstairs on an open top bus. Hope it doesn't rain for the run to Imber. This is going to be quite exciting. We're still outside Warminster Station. The people who um, are probably more sensible than me have gone in the covered bus, but I like going on an open top bus. So, very soon we shall depart Warminster for Imber. <laughs>
So I'll we'll be leaving here in about five minutes. We then go roughly where that BMW is going up to New Zealand Farm. rather bleak up here. This is New Zealand Farm just over there. This is the terminus of one of the bus routes. So there's another bus just behind us. It's been quite fun sitting up here on this open top bus, um, even if it is drizzling a bit. What we're going to do now though, we're going to go, if I stand up you can probably see the road ahead of us. We're going to go back down there to New Zealand, um, sorry, to Gorecross Bus Station, which is um, something a bit different. So we're going to go to Gorecross Bus Station, pretty most unusual bus station in the UK because it's only there once a year. And then from there, we should catch a bus to Imba and we'll have a look around the Lost Village. So that's the bus we've been sitting on. So we've just been up to New Zealand Farm, which was the road up over there towards the trees. We're now at Gore Cross bus station. So this is a bus station. It only exists once a year. And you can see there's various buses, various bus stops. And our plan now is to find a bus to Imba. And when we get to Imba, we'll have a look around the village. So you can see there's another route master there. There's, um, looks like this vehicle is here. Hopefully we should bus break down. It's a recovery vehicle. So, Place today and it has started raining. If we look across the field you can just see another bus over there just coming in. So let's let's go watch that one arrive. So there's a, another bus there. Looks like that was possibly British European Airways so it's a would have been a bus connected with the airline. If we stand down here we should be able to we'll see this bus arrive and I think the um, yellow area. If I'm in the yellow area, I think that means I'm safe from buses. Not entirely sure. So he's just coming in now with the bus. You see that bus arrival. There's, there's been various other modern buses as well, Boris Masters, and I, I'm, I'm not too much of an expert on buses. I'm more of a railway person. Um, but, you know, this is a great event. To me, if you want to do a bus event and you're not so interested in buses, then do, do come and do. Just see another route master right over there. It seems so strange. We're out here in the middle of nowhere on Salisbury Plain and every now and then you just see this red of a London bus appearing. So here we are. There's one coming in now. I'll just let you watch that.
I'm going to go and find a bus now to Imber because that's where I really want to go and have a look around the lost village of Imber. And before going to Imber, I thought I'd get the bus from Gorecross to the village of Chittern. And there is the church, which I believe we're going to have a look in. The local village hall has set up some refreshments, so I should be able to go in there, get a cup of tea. So here we are, the buses are lined up, so we'll have to get a bus probably via Gorecross back towards Imber. But this is the village church, so the doors are open, so as soon as we're here, might as well look. Obviously, we'll take my hat off, because men don't wear hats in church. So let's just go and see what we can see inside this rather beautiful church. There we go. So let's go inside. Admittedly I don't know much of the history of this church because I've only just got here. But that's a very attractive building. Just having a look here, looks like they do church, uh, postcards of the church. So I shall purchase one of them on my way out as a souvenir of my visit to Chitern. So yeah, what, what beautiful church in a village I'd never heard of. Um, no railways here. So but this, this is the sort of place, probably has about one bus a week, but today it's got lots and lots of buses. So um, this is Chitern Church. I'm going to go outside now, probably get a cup of tea and um, get a bus back towards Imber and Gorecross. This is probably the furthest away from London you will find a London bus stop. We've finally arrived at Imber, so here we are. You see this brilliant lineup of buses. There's some of the houses which we'll be able to have a look at later. There's another bus just pulling in behind me. The oldest bus, though, that's intending the rally today is that little single decker there. And there's another one arriving. It's really um, quite an exciting thing to be here. Seeing all these London buses so far away from London. What we're going to do now, now we're going to go up and have a look at the church, which is um, run by the Church Conservation Trust. And I've been told it's just up the track here. So what we'll do now, we'll walk up the track and we'll go and have a look at the historic church in Imber. And then we'll have a look at some of the houses. I don't think we'll actually go in, but we can certainly go and see them. So let's leave the buses for a bit now and go and find the church. I'm just walking up the track now towards St Giles Church, which is, as I said, it's owned by Church's Conservation Trust, so because it's a lost village, obviously it doesn't have regular congregation, but today it's very much come to life and um, it's where you can go and get refreshments and have a look. So there's the church there in front of us. Let's go and see if we can have a look inside. And I think I need to get some a rather late lunch because I've been so much um, enjoying bashing the buses that I um, haven't had lunch yet, but what I'm going to do now, take my hat off before going to church, put my face covering in, on and let's go and see what we see. Ooh. We are on the porch of the church, and I just want to show you this, is a map of where I've been. So we started there, at the Minster Station, this is Imber, this is where we are now, Four Cross. I didn't do this bus route around here today, but I did New Zealand Farm Camp, we did all the way down here, down to the village down there. So then I've come back, fire or cross to Imber, we're here in the church, we'll go in the church now and have a look and then eventually I'll get the bus back to all the station. So let's go and see now. It is fairly busy in the church, so um, I'll just let you see really what the interior is like. And there's lots of teas and cakes and various other stalls, so it's quite interesting. Let's just have a look. Some by books about the history of Imber, what the village would have been like in its heyday before it, all the villagers were moved out. So there's some pictures, it just tells you about Imber in its heyday. There's pictures of how the village would have once looked before it was all converted into the military training place it is today. There's a stall over here. It's got quite a lot of information about the um, Church's Conservation Trust. So, as you can see, various postcards and um, leaflets on all the other churches. So, probably what I'll do, I'll probably buy a postcard when I've finished recording this clip. And um, what I'm going to do now, though, is 
get a cup of tea and something to eat and then it'd be time to go and have a look at the, the other houses and get the bus back. Well, following our visit to the church, we're back on the main street in Imba. What we're going to do now, we're going to have a look at some of what was the village and what's here now. So this would have been the main road through Imba. There'd have been houses on each side, but they were all moved out in the beginning of the war. If you look here though, it says site of Imba post office from 1909 to 1943. So everyone was moved out and um, they were told they'd be able to come back, but they never did come back. We have some houses here though, looks looking rather abandoned, but these these were never lived in. These were actually built like this. They built these houses um, basically as abandoned houses for people to train in, military personnel to train in. It's a really rather strange scene, just sort of, you know, walking past these houses. You can't go in, very clear. But I've been told up here there's a Baptist church, so that's um, so why I thought we'd walk up here, see what we can see. But, you know, what, what a funny, strange place. I mean, it, so, you know, when this event's not happening, there are soldiers training in there. I can just see some stairs going up, so, you know, um, it'd probably quite be interesting to see, but I don't think we'd ever be allowed to come and see that. But there's a whole estate there, you know, of what look like would be fairly normal three bedroom houses if they were covered in rendering and had windows and families living in them. but these have been built to be abandoned. There were some other older buildings which looked like they were possibly surviving from when the village was a functioning village, an old the East Farm, which was the other side, and um, of course the church, but the church doesn't actually take part in any military training. The vicarage was destroyed by a shell and demolished in the late 1960s, I believe. So um, it's a really rather unusual place. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to continue to walk up this road because as you can see, you can, other people are going in the direction of those houses. See what we can see, find the Baptist church, and um, then we shall get a bus back to Warminster Railway Station. This is the site of Imba Baptist Church, not a lot here, a few gravestones at the other end, so the church would have been here, I believe it was demolished in the late 1970s. So what we're going to do now, we're going to head back to the village centre, because that is where I need to go to get a bus back to Warminster to catch my train home. I'll just take you out as we come out the gates to where the Baptist Church once stood, I turn around and it's um, all a bit things you see, you don't often see signs saying unexploded military bombs. There's a few more houses there which are used for training. There's an older building here, I believe this one possibly dates back to when Imba village was your usual country village. And there's another one across the road, so we can go and have a look at those. And then, as I said, it's going to be time for me to head back. But it's been a very interesting day, both to see the village, which you cannot normally see. I found it really, really fascinating place to come and visit. There you are, look, there's possibly an old farmhouse, maybe even a pub. 
Um, but it's been a really fascinating place to visit and of course I've enjoyed the bus rally. As most of you know, I'm more of a railway enthusiast, but I do like buses and um, I've enjoyed riding the, the buses. Oh look, here we are. There's a bit of information on the Baptist Chapel. So, um, as you can see, Baptist Church up there, or rather, site of the Baptist Church. So this way is going back into Imber. That way is the route. It's a very scenic route, actually, out across Salisbury Plain, back towards Warminster. So there you go, there's one of them. actually tells us what it is. It was the Bell Inn, it tells us here. So whether that was a pub, I'm not entirely sure. The other building I did want to show you before we head back. There's those houses just there. We'll have a look at them in a moment. Up here, back on here. Up the next drive is Imber Court, which is one of the historic houses from the village, so we, which is still standing, all but empty. I'm not sure it's actually used for training. It didn't sort of look quite the same as these, but it seems so strange, doesn't it, seeing these, these houses. So, if really, if you, if you want to come to this event, it happens once a year, if you want nice scenery, somewhere, a village you can only go to once a year, and you like buses, or if you just like one of them, a village, scenery, or buses, then, you know, do come to this event. It's once a year, it's usually the penultimate weekend in August. It's really good fun. I've really enjoyed it, so it's very much worth coming to see. I'm just gonna turn off up here now. We'll go up towards the Imber Court. There it is in front of us. To me, I think it's the boarding up. It makes it look like, a, like we're in France somewhere. I think the boards look more like shutters. I don't know, it just has a bit of a French feeling. We, can't, we cannot go in, it's all pad locked up. But yeah, that is Imber Court. There's some other training building just there. I have to be uh, onto the road. So that's probably like the most expensive house. The richest family of the village probably lived there in Imber Court when Imber was, you know, a functioning village. So as I was saying, it's very much worth coming to. It happens once a year. It obviously didn't happen in 2020 for fairly obvious reasons, but it's been going for about 10 years. And from what I understand, all the money raised goes towards the church. The church is Church's Conservation Trust Church. I have been to a few of them in the past, so if you want to visit the Church's Conservation Trust churches, some of them are open all the time, some of them you have to go and find a key. This one you have a very limited opportunity to go and visit it and just see it over there. So if you want to see that church, come to the Inver Bus Ray. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've certainly had a great day. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. And hopefully before it starts raining, I'm going to go and get my bus back to Warminster Railway Station. So from the lost village of Imber, what was once the main street. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.